Here's how to get a mod menu in GTA 5 Enhanced. If this video helped you, please consider subscribing. And now let's begin with the video. Now, the first step is to download the simple trainer for GTA 5. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below that is going to put you in this page. In here, you want to go ahead and press download. And by the way, all credits due to the creator of this mod. You want to go ahead and press download in here. And then that'll place you over here where you're going to press download again. You might have to wait five seconds for an ad. If that's the case, just wait. And then just go ahead and download that file. And once you have that file, I want you to go ahead and place it on your desktop. This should be a zip or a RAR file, which means it's a compressed file. And then to add this to the game, we're also going to need to install a script for V. So for that, I'm going to leave you guys this link down below. It's going to be the third link right next to this one. And then in here, this is an article on actually how to install a script hook properly in case this video is too fast, but I'm going to try and make it quick. Just come down to step one and press on a script hook V that is going to redirect you to this page. Now, yours might look a little bit different than mine, but what we're going to do is press download right next to the download button. Yours might actually look a little bit more like this. And what you're going to do is go ahead and press where it says download and that will begin the download for a script hook V. Now, some browsers might detect it as a harmful file. Just go ahead and keep it. Of course, you're always doing this under your own risk but I have never had any issues while doing this. And now you want to go ahead and drag and drop the screw V file into your desktop, just like we did with the trainer earlier. Now we are ready to begin. We're going to need to unzip these both files. So right click on a screw V and press extract all and then go ahead and extract it right here on the desktop. And if you don't have any programs to extract the screw V, I'm going to leave you guys down in the description a video to download and install 7-zip so you can unzip this. Now you could delete the screw V zip file because we already got the folder. And now you want to unzip the trainer. So right click on it and then click extract all and then go through the same process, extract and again, Again, I'm going to leave you guys a software to unzip this in case you can't do it because you don't have Windows 11. Now delete the RAR file because we already have the two folders that we need. Next, we need to open our installation folder of GTA 5 Enhanced. For that, open your launcher of preference. That might be Epic Games or Steam. It doesn't matter. The process is going to be pretty similar. Now I'm going to show you guys how to find your installation folder. If you're on Steam, just right click on your game, GTA 5 Enhanced, and then press where it says manage and then browse local game files. And if you're on Epic Games, just find your game on your library. And then you want to press on these three dots in here. You want to press on manage and then you want to press on open install location and then that is going to put you on this folder right here which is the installation folder of gta 5 enhanced now what i want you to do with this folder guys is place it on the left side of your screen so just go ahead and put it on the left side and then on the right side you can put your screw v folder and what you want to do is open the bin folder from within a screw v and you want to drag x input as well as a screw v into this folder make sure you grab the x input and the screw v only don't drag the dim put eight in here just these two files go ahead and drag and drop them into here into the installation folder of gta 5 enhanced of course i always recommend making a backup of this and it's super simple all you have to do is back out of this folder and then duplicate it just in case you want to delete this later on or your game crashes or something like that now after you added those two files into here close the screw v folder and you could actually delete it and now open the simple trainer folder the first one we downloaded and extracted and now drag and drop the trainer v.asi as well as the trainer v.ini files into the installation folder of gta 5 so select them from here and drag and drop them into an empty space as well just like we did with the screw v now you close this folder you could delete it from your desktop and you could close the gta 5 and has install location folder and just go ahead and launch your game as you regularly launch your game now guys if when you're opening the gta 5 game you get this error in here just don't worry head over to your rockstar launcher now what you guys want to do on your rockstar launcher is head over to settings and then right here you have to disable battle eye as you can see this is usually enabled just go ahead and turn it off close your rockstar launcher and then try to play your game one more time now this time you guys shouldn't have any issues opening the game as you can see everything loads without any problems because we turn off the battle eye and now you guys could go ahead and open your story mode and you'll be able to use this simple menu in here now obviously don't go on use mods online don't use the simple menu online i don't even think the game will let you load this online and if you guys want to play multiplayer you might have to delete that x input file that we added earlier when we added a script hook so just go back to that installation folder and delete the x input if it's not letting you join a multiplayer now to open the simple menu just press f4 once you're here in the game and now you're going to use your numpad to move around for example if you want to go into one of the options just press five and if you want to back out of that option just press zero and it'll put you back in here but i'm going to go ahead and for example turn on got mode so i'm just going to go ahead and enable that for example with the got mode as you can see i don't take no damage and that is it guys how to get a simple training in gta 5 enhanced if this video helped you out don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time